what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Kanye West has officially lost his rabbit ass mind. Went on Twitter posting some stuff about Donald Trump showing off his Make America Great Again hat, showing off the signing of it. Donald Trump, you know, autographed it and everything. He, if you can recall, was photographed with Donald Trump back in December 2016 with then-president-elect Donald Trump. And people, you know, gave him a hard time about that. But many people was trying to forgive him because, after all, he makes great music. Fast forward. Ebro from Ebro in the Morning, Hot 97 in New York. He says he had a conversation with Kanye that went like this. Ebro says, we went back and forth about a number of things. I told him I thought he was cooning for cash being in the lobby of Trump Tower. I thought that was a coon move, cooning for cash. And he was like, why you think I'm gonna make more money because I'm saying the things I'm saying? I said, yes, because the bankers and the executives and the right wing folks and the audience that wants to hear a black man say these things to separate himself from other black people will celebrate that. Then he said, I do love Donald Trump. Kanye West quote, I do love Donald Trump. This is Kanye West on Twitter. You don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. And we have the right to independent thought. Now, some of you are trying to rationalize your love for Kanye as an artist and your contempt for what he said as a person. Well, let me tell you something. Who you are as a person is more important than what you do for a living. Don't ever get that twisted. Don't ever love somebody's art, their profession, more than you love the person himself or herself. I don't give a damn what you do for a living. I don't care if you're a superstar magician, musician, or athlete, or if you are a, a manager for a fast food restaurant. What kind of person are you? That's what I care about. I want to know what kind of person are you? And when you come across a person who is willing to sell their entire race out to get to a level for a personal gain, as Ebro said, cooning for cash. Kanye West got all of that money, all of that fame, all of those fans and he still acts like a groupie running over there to the White House getting all up under Donald Trump like he's something special. You know, normally the president role would be something special, but he's trashed it because he's trash. So I wouldn't give a damn if he was a president or not. I don't care. I would not want to be nowhere around that sucker. He's toxic. This is not a guy who is worthy of your support or compassion. He said that when he was hospitalized for opiate addiction, people didn't support him, which is a lot. Shows you how delusional he is. There were a whole lot of people supporting him. Many, many people pulling for him, including myself. Not anymore. I've identified Kanye for who he is. He's a con just like Don. They're on the same team, man. And he is an enemy of the black community. You can't tell me no difference. Action speaks louder than words. The 
things that he say, the way he's carrying on, it's very dangerous. It is very dangerous the way he's talking. He's an enemy. I know some of y'all are hoping and praying that you get the old Kanye back. Well, that's not going to happen. You're never going to ever, ever, ever get the old Kanye back. You want to know why? Because he died with his mama. No more talk. What the haters talking about?